the steak and brush today i have for you a another unboxing of the um is this the look fantastic box sorry i've got so many coming that i've kind of lost track all right <laughs> but before we get into it as always if i could have you like this video and subscribe to my channel and share this with any of your makeup loving friends and follow me over on instagram at steak underscore and underscore brush okay so this is the second look fantastic box that i've received um the first thing I've got to call out is, I love these boxes. Uh, my daughter is a box hoarder, and I am not exaggerating when I say that. And not just pretty boxes like this. We have so many Amazon boxes in this house that are just empty because she may need them. Yes, I know it's an actual issue that we are addressing, but she will be getting this one because at least it's pretty and you know it's nice and sturdy and can be used to store things. So this is a, I, I believe it's $17. I, I've got like a six month subscription. So, you know, I get it a little cheaper. This one is actually the British version. Um, I signed up because I had a coupon code that let me try the first one for basically free. Didn't realize it was coming from the UK. There is a US version of this. Um, I don't know how different they are, but that's where mine comes from. Um, they are sample sizes, although last time we got like a, you know, a mini palette and let's see, I got a mini palette, a um, eyeliner, I know some skincare, don't really remember what else was in it, but I remember that I did like it. So let's see what is in this. This does come with a little catalog kind of thing that tells you all about the stuff you've got in here plus it gives you some other product bios and things and it does come with an actual copy of L and this is the L UK version but you get that as well if you are into that which I'm not really so everything here is in this beautiful yellow tissue wrap, this beautiful yellow and seafoam green kind of vibe we got going here. I really like it. Okay, so first thing we get into, and by the way, I do have a bare face because I have no idea what's going to be in here. So first thing we've got in here is a Mio Fit for Life Shrink to Fit Cellulite Smoother. I don't know about that, but okay. Uh, the high concentration of powerful ingredients in Shrink to Fit helps reduce the appearance of cellulite and dimpled skin. Massage a small amount into cell stubborn cellulite once a day for 30 days, rubbing product vigorously. Continue to use three or four times a week to maintain results. I don't know how much I buy any of that, but, or... How much I, I'll be honest, I'm a big girl. Cellulite is like the least of my worries. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if I know somebody who wants this, I may pass this along. I don't know that this is something that I'm really going to be into. Let's see what else we've got here. This is Made to Measure Lip Color from Lord and Barry. And this is in Just Naked. It is a very regular wood pencil type. And lots of nude, it's a very browny nude. You can see that. It doesn't feel too stiff, so that's good. Always can use a nude lip liner. What else we have in here? Tea tray tea tree oil spot stick soothing and effective from australian body care uh, tea tree oil is why can't i say that tea tree oil is a natural essential oil with many healing and protective benefits tea tree oil effectively heals cleanses and protects your skin and hair the pure essential oil is known for its powerful properties which accelerates the healing process and maintains the skin's natural bacterial flora 
Australian body care products contain pure tea tree oil in different concentrations depending on use. Um, apply directly to problem area. Use as needed can be used over makeup. Interesting. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking for here. This comes in a little bottle like this. Is it, do I pull it off? Oh, it screws off. Oh, it's one of these like, from when we were kids, remember those lip glosses we used to get? A little roller ball here. Oh, that is a, that's a smell. I'm not really into essential oils or anything like that. It has the faintest scent and it's not nearly, nearly as strong, but okay. So my grandparents have a farm, had a farm, which my parents now live at. And so my grandmother was, I mean, she was very old, even for grandparents of my age, she'd be, wow, like 110, 109 this year, if she were still alive. So, you know, she was born the very early part of the 19th or the 20th century and whenever we were hurting she would bring out like sores not cuts or something like she would bring out this old stuff it's called black diamond and i looked it up a couple years ago just curious what it actually was it was actually something for like horses and cows that you would put on them and it had turpentine in it it was so horrible I'm sure they thought it did something, but it has the faintest scent of that. I'm sure, I mean, this is more natural stuff, but that kind of brings me back to that. So we're the one only okay so far. All right, the next thing we've got is Joe Hansford London Expert Color Care Everyday Conditioner anti-fade formula this actually i will use um obviously i'm so bad about keeping up with my blonde um because i do it from home and i just i get lazy my daughter has to do the bleaching part and then i do the coloring and just <laughs> i get lazy and tired and days i don't feel good so you know but i will once i finally do it i keep saying i'm going to do it this week and it never really happens but i definitely will be using that to help out Looks like we've got two more items. Oh, and we've got shampoo to go with it. And whoop, it's just the same thing, just shampoo. And then finally, what do we have in here? A moisturizing serum. Um, let's see, a fugued serum, F-U-G-T moisture boost it doesn't really say anything else about it hopefully it'll say something about it in here there's no smell to it i probably should read about this before i put it on but i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my face since this is very very makeup light and skincare and hair care heavy you know, I'm really much, much more for makeup than I am skincare in these kinds of boxes. But again, there's no smell. It has a little bit of a tacky feel afterwards, which might be nice. Can use it kind of like a primer. So let's see. Where did I put? Oh, there. But that's everything that was in the box. So kind of a dud for me, but let's look and see what we have. Okay, it looks like this is from E-Cooking Moisture Serum. Um, replenish lost moisture and hydrate your skin with the weightless non-greasy moisturizing serum from E-Cooking, full of hydrolonic acid to reduce the appearance of fine line and wrinkles, vegan and free of parabens and fragrances. Uh, pump a couple drops under your fingertips and spread gently over cleansed skin. Um, this values at $21.50 and this, these are all in pounds. So I'll put the dollar amount somewhere on the screen once I convert it. Um, oh, is there something else in here? 
No, I don't know if there's supposed to be something else in here. It looks like there was. Oh, well, okay, let's go on to this. Um, Lord & Berry Ultimate Lip Liner and Nude with Macadamia Oil, Water Lily Extracts, and Enriched and LXB Complex. This Lord & Berry Lip Liner will soften your lips from first application. The round barrel pencil is completely waterproof and highly blendable to give a more natural lip lining look. Line and fill your lips and finish with your favorite gloss or lipstick. So there's that. The uh, value is 15 pounds. It says there's supposed to be moon pads in here. There's supposed to be three of them. So what? Miss them somewhere? No. Might have to contact them. Um, because they are makeup removal pads with microfibers. Kind of would have liked to try those. Um, next we have the Mio Skincare Boob Tube is what they're calling it. Or sh uh, skin tight or shrink to fit. It's worth nine pounds. These antioxidant rich creams effectively tone and smooth the appearance of skin, uh, revealing soft, firm, fit skin for life, infused with a wide mix of beneficial ingredients, including papaya, hydrolonic acid, green tea, caffeine, and caffeine. These products will look after your skin from top to toe. Kind of like it a little more now that they call it the boob tube. Um, use as part of your daily body care routine to see best results. Massage product into skin using circular motions. Um, then we have the shampoo and conditioner. The only thing is these look dusty. Like they have been around for a while. Uh, treat uh, that spot fast with help of the Australian body care. Wait, blemish. Oh, oops, reading the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, treat the spot fast with the help of Australian body care blemish stick infused stick stick infused with 100% tea tree oil with fantastic antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. Use it the first sign of a breakout to fight bacteria, reduce redness, and speed up the healing process. Okay, that makes a little more sense about what this is supposed to be used for um, because I just didn't know when they said. For healing. Um, I usually only get a breakout like once a month. Um, my daughter gets a few more. I'll see if maybe she's interested in this, although the smell might turn her off since she's very sensitive. Now the Joe Hansford Expert Color Care Everyday Shampoo and Conditioner. I've got the perfect combination to protect, nourish, and enhance your hair. This duo set is paraben and sulfate free. Formulated with sweet blue lupin peptides. I don't know. The only lupin I know is from Harry Potter. Um, made with naturally sustainable ingredients from the Amazon, the unique formula of the shampoo and conditioner will leave your hair feeling silky to the touch. I, I guess we go back. The value for those is $7.20, and this one was $9.99. So I'll, again, I'll add it up and put the, the actual amount there. And then, yeah, so tell, we've got more about the, the CEO that does the, does the serum. We've got more about my missing moon pads. <laughs> um, and just, you know, some things here and there, a lot of, you know, 2020 new you kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm not feeling this one at all. Again, such very, very little makeup. I guess let me go ahead and put the lip liner on and see what we think. Does feel soft. I'll go ahead and fill it in.
Oh, and it just broke on me. That's terrific. Whew, am I having a day? Things are not going well here. Let me go ahead and put some lip gloss on top of this. Um, just the first stuff I pulled out. It has a little bit of a brownie tone to it. This is the Alhambra Mother of Pearl. I mean, <laughs> it's not going to look like great considering I have nothing else on my face, but you get the gist of it. I mean, that's nice enough. I, it, as long as it doesn't keep breaking on me like that, I will use it again. But this box definitely just didn't speak to me. So definitely kind of a dud here. Sorry to bring this down, but at least you got to see what was in it. Um, I'll probably at least try this for another month and see how it goes but I'll let I'm you actually know. back I've been thinking about it's been two days since I opened up that look fantastic box and it's really kind of been irritating me so I wanted to come back on and just film a little bit more about it and I was talking to my friend and she she was saying how she feels like she's getting a little bit of subscription box fatigue and I'm trying to figure out, is that what I'm feeling over this box or is it just crap? So I wanted to film and put my feelings out here about this box. And maybe, you know, you can kind of share with me if you're having the same kind of issues or, you know, is it is it just that, you know, I'm getting so much in subscription boxes or, you know, maybe it's just, it's January, everybody packs it with skincare and I want more makeup or, you know, again, is it just crap? Um, there, are, there were supposed to be seven items in the box. So right off the bat, the fact that I only got six irritates me. I know and mistakes happen. I, I, I understand that. And had this been just a normal box and I, had I been missing a few makeup wipes, no big deal. I can understand that. But then, second thing is, they say it's seven items, and one of them is a shampoo and conditioner. That's one item. I'm sorry. It's one item. It's shampoo and conditioner. And on top of that, it's hotel soap. It really is. I actually looked it up. It is carried in hotels. If I wanted hotel soap, I would go to a hotel and steal it like everybody else does. Again, it's January. Everything's very skincare heavy, but the only makeup bit I got was a nude lip liner. I will use this. I'm not complaining that this is bad, but the fact that this was the only makeup bit to it, no, I want more. I want, you know, give me, you know, I don't care. Give me a little blusher, give me a tiny mascara, give me anything like that. Just something besides a nude lip liner, really? This is the only, this is the other item I would use, and that's the moisturizing serum. I will use this. It's a hyaluronic acid serum. That's fine. You know, that's fine with skincare. I, I'm even okay with it being like half skincare and half makeup fine then this may just be personally I have no a cellulite smoother I don't know it, it's just it's gimmicky I'm sure somebody was thrilled to have this so this may just be you know this is just my personal preference thing and then this stuff this spot stick you know, it says to put on blemishes and stuff. I don't really get blemishes. So I offer it to my daughter. And granted, she is very sensitive to smell. But this is just a bad smell. Is this what tea tree oil smells like? If it is, yuck. 
I was like I, I said, it smells like that turpentine stuff my grandmother used to put on me. And I, I'm if somebody else can use it, great. Is this just me? Am I just being a huge mega bitch? I mean, I know I'm a huge mega bitch, but am I being more mega bitchy? Am I just fatigued from boxes or is this really crap? Please let me know what your thoughts are down below. I would like, I would love to hear if it's just me or, you know, or have you had a box recently that you've looked at it and just gone, what the hell? Why did I pay for this? All right. I'm sorry. Again, this is at a downer, but I really felt like after the, after I filmed, I, I, I kept thinking about it and I shouldn't be thinking about a subscription box like this for two days afterwards and letting it irritate me. So I just needed to get that out. Thank you for letting me vent. <laughs> okay. But I will see you next time. Bye-bye.